I've been in the kitchen, Ooh. whipping, whipping. I've been chefing, mix it with my left hand. Water whipping and I'm stirring. Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? It's the one and only Splash. Y'all already know who the fuck it is. So recently, a lot of niggas been complaining about the new patch. You see me greening from pretty much half court, but. It has been, yeah, a secret shooting patch, basically, that actually lowered down everybody's shot meters and shit like that. And some, sometimes shot meters be glitched on my part. Sometimes you, f you fucking, um, the hot spots are glitched on my part. Like, I literally play my career and I got all my hot spots, but in the part, the shit not showing up. In the my court, shit not showing up either. So... First things first, I want y'all to hit that like button, you feel me? Let me know. If if y'all want to shoot better, hit that like button. I'll you know continue to make good quality videos for y'all about jump shooting, you feel me? Oh, I, got, I got a whole bunch of secrets for y'all boys. So make sure y'all hit that fucking like button. You see me greening from all the way down there. So first things first, I'm going to need y'all to do me a favor, all right? So first off, if you think NBA Live has a chance to come back, Make sure y'all comment down below, yes or no. It's a simple, simple answer. Or you could explain yourself, whatever like that. But I just want to know, does, does NBA Live have a chance, bro? Do they have a chance? Like, will we ever have a different, you know, basketball game, ever? Like, it's kind of like Call of Duty and, and um, Battlefield. Like, they had, Battlefield and Call of Duty, you know, you could buy both. But with 2K and Live, will they have a chance where you could just buy both games? Like, do you, just comment down below. So first things first, all you guys gotta do is go to create a jump shot. Uh, I think if you, I think I'm pretty sure everybody has the jump shot create and shit like that. So all you guys gotta do is lower down your speed, and then save it, and then put it back up and save it, or whatever you want it to be at. You feel me? Like basically whatever desired speed you want, just put it down, and then you know save that jump shot, and then put it back up. That what this is doing is, is actually, you know, refreshing your jump shot and shit like that. Because sometimes your jump shot gets glitched. Because, you know, sometimes it says that, you know, you pick the wrong person or whatever like that. So, you know, if your jump shot ever gets glitched, you see, I got a green light. Ever, just I just changed it and shit like that. You know, I don't even use this jump shot, but it's whatever. But the jump shot meter is not glitched no more. You feel me? But it's just super, super simple. So I'm going to do it with a jump shot that I actually, you know, know how to use. Because that high school one shot, I don't really know how to use that. So, you know, sometimes it, you know, goes on the wrong person. So sometimes you have to re refresh that actual jump shot. And I actually had, you know, LaMarcus or whatever like that. So I had to refresh it to the base that I usually have. So what I actually did is save that jump shot. Once I saved it, I backed out all the way back to, you know, the regular thing. And then I actually went back into that jump shot. And you see it's still glitched. So I actually put everything back. I put down the speed. And then I saved it again. So, and then once I put down the speed, I saved it. I put back up the speed. And then I just backed out. So all I did was put on that jump shot. Refresh the whole my court when I went to the, you know, the my player. I refreshed. You see it refreshing right there. Ended up refreshing. And then that's a done deal like you feel me like i started getting green lights after green lights after green lights i never even use this jump shot like that you feel me never use this jump shot but you see me greening already you see how small that shot meter is that shot meter is bigger than that you feel me like once you go to the mid-range the three-point line shot meter is bigger than that but you see me greening bro a one-handed jump shot greening that's crazy this is crazy you see me almost from the 2k logo green green this is on hall of fame bro this is on hall of fame so i recommend you guys try this out i know you know like my one of my friends actually told me this method bro i didn't even know this was even a method you feel me i thought like you know i was just lagging or some shit but if this actually helped make sure y'all comment down below and hit that like button bro this shit because i know a lot of people have been saying the offensive consistency shit but you know that really didn't help it didn't help as much and you can see the shot meter the shot meter and the um the what's it called i forgot what it's called the hot spots i looked at the hot spots i had all red hot spots in my career right but then you can see on the blue ring around my player everything is blue on the my court bro everything is blue i don't understand that bro i do not understand that so 
when I actually did this glitch, I actually got more green lights and stuff like that. And, you know, also, another thing is that you have to get a good jump shot, bro. You can't be having a broke-ass jump shot. So, every jump shot, every release, every base, they are combined in order to make a perfect arc. So, this is like a science kind of thing. I made a whole video of all the jump shots that's good for you. Or you guys can use the jump shot that I had, you know, on this video. But I recommend you guys go look at my, you know, best jump shots video. I posted like a couple days ago. That shit is going to help you, bro. That shit is going to help you. I got all the custom jump shots, everything that I made. But we're not finished yet, bro. We are not finished yet. I'm going to help you all some more. There's another tip for you guys to get more green lights, half court, anything like that. You feel me? Playmaker, sharpshooter, slasher. These niggas slashers are shooting fucking threes out here. We got slashers. We got locked down defenders shooting threes. Bro, this is how you do it. This is how they actually do it, bro. All right, so what I'm going to need you guys to do is actually go to your my court. Once you're in your my court, check if you got hot spots. How do you check you got hot spots? All you guys got to do is look at the little ring around you. If it's blue, that means you do not have the hot spot there. That means it's cold. That means, it, you, like, you don't shoot as better. As, that's not a word, but you don't shoot as good as you would if you had a hot spot. So traditionally, what the hotspots do is that it resets every, you know, couple, I, I don't know how, what's the formula or whatever, but that shit ends up resetting. So all you guys gotta do is go to your My Career and actually play a couple games, and then the, the hotspots will actually reappear. Even though it says on your map that you have hotspots, you're gonna have to refresh your hotspots, bro. You have to refresh them. Cause you, you saw on my map, I had all the hotspots and everything like that shooting above 50 percent everything like that but in the my court as you can see the my court transfers to the my part and i do not have any hot spots on the my court so just shoot like i would say from 15 to 20 shots from each area five minute quarters is good you feel me just shoot you know e everywhere just like that and then what this ends up doing is that once you get the hot spots it's going to add an additional three to five you know attribute points or whatever to your jump shot so that's how people are actually shooting better i don't know why 2k actually took off the hot spots i think it's just so you could play my career and shit like that but this shit is crazy bro like i actually played a whole bunch of my career like i haven't touched my career in a while but i've, I've played a whole bunch of my career and then it reset me bro i was like wow that shit is crazy so make sure you guys hit that like button bro Hit that like button if you guys want some more good shit, you feel me? So now you guys actually know how to fix your jump shot with the little jump shot creator stuff. And you also know how to get your hot spots back. Because, you know, a lot of people was complaining saying, I don't know how to get the hot spots back. So pretty much all you guys got to do is use those two methods. And you pretty much are a god. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe. It's been your boy Splash. We are out here. Let's get it.